Okay, child, so this is just about 20 minutes later. I put on a shirt and a little makeup and ooh! <laughs> Hi guys, Abracadabra Beauty here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am bringing you a video on me just doing my hair. Everyone knows we're all inside right now. There's no salons open and we have to do our own hair. So today, you're going to come along with me and we're going to straighten my hair unprofessionally. <laughs> So I've already washed my hair and conditioned it and I put it in plaits overnight for it to dry a little bit. I'm just putting in some Jamaican black castor oil on the top and I'm going to blow dry my hair, flat iron, and maybe even clip my ends. Y'all, I have not straightened my hair in at least over a year. I've been wearing braids, so this is going to be quite interesting. <laughs> So I'm going in with my Yellow Bird Con Air blow dryer. Y'all, this blow dryer gets so hot. And y'all, please don't make fun of my techniques. I am not a professional and don't claim to be. I give much props to the professional hairstylists out there. Y'all are so bomb. So I'm blow drying my hair in sections. I have my hair in four sections and I'm just blow drying it as best I can so once I started on my hair I realized I don't even have all the tools I should have to straighten my hair that I used to have I've just been wearing my hair in braids or either braid outs or twist outs so all I have is a hair pick my Denman brush and my boy brush so I'm just gonna make do with what I have and we go straighten this hair, okay? So with all the salons and things closed, what are you guys doing with your hair? Are you trying any new hairstyles during this time? Are you just not doing your hair at all? <laughs> Which is okay, we can't see you no way. Are you wearing wigs? Are you wearing your natural hair out? Let me know in the comment section below. So I've completed blow drying one side of my hair so I'm going to twist it up to put it away because I have no clips and I'm going to start blow drying the other side. The ends of my hair felt so dry y'all so I had to add some um, some more oil to the ends. It's just that Jamaican black castor oil I'm adding to the ends of my hair. So I remember why I don't straighten my hair that often myself because this is too much work. My arms hurt and I still have another section to go. I haven't even started flat ironing yet. This is a lot of work and I don't even have like thick, thick hair like that. So yeah. And at this point, the blow dryer is getting so hot, super de duper hot. It's starting to burn my ears. So I'm trying to hurry up and finish this. So yay, I finished the blow drying part. This is me blowed out completely. And oh, I guess I'm blowing out some more. So here. <laughs> So now I'm going to begin to flat iron my hair. I'm just putting it up in sections using my little rubber band because yet again I have no clips. I'm making smaller sections starting in the back and I'm going to flat ironing. I'm going to flat iron using my Chi flat iron I got from Ulta many years ago. Going into this my goal was to do only one pass through with the flat ironing on my hair but my hair didn't feel as straight as I would like it to so I did do two to three passes on some sections of my hair 
I know that's not the healthiest thing to do, but I did it. It's, um, this is quarantine here, so I get a pass, right? Right. This time in life is such a different time in life right now with everything going on with the quarantine and the virus and everything. So I hope everyone is doing well and your family is doing well. I send you many blessings. It's so crazy how we take for granted like the little small minute things such as getting your hair done or getting your nails done which is nothing compared to what's going on with everybody that has been sick during this time or have passed on so it's just good just to reflect on all the things you're thankful for and that you're grateful for and just have gratitude always Okay, so as you can see, I have flat ironed my entire head, including the back, which I did a terrible job at. <laughs> um, but anyway, I have flat ironed it and I'm going to begin curling it with the flat iron nets. But I have a little person messing with my mirror. Hi, little person. So like I said, I am not a professional. Do not make fun of my technique. I have not flattened my flat ironed my hair in so long so I forgot how to maneuver my wrist the flick of my wrist is gone so I did the best I could y'all but look look at that little girl isn't it cute so I'm just going through my entire head making these curls because I want a little curl in my hair once I'm done. And it really seems like everything is going pretty good right now, right? Right, so let's keep going. Hey, and guys, I'm open to constructive criticism. If you can tell me a better way of how to flat iron my hair and how to curl it with the flat iron, I greatly appreciate it. Please leave a comment. Let me know what I did wrong or what I, what I did right or what I can do better. So please, it is welcome. I was thinking I was gonna do a deep side part at first, but then I decided on a metal part. I think that would have been more safe since I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I noticed that I curled the right side of my hair way better than the left side. I guess that has something to do with being right-handed. I don't know. But um, the curls just came out way better on the right side. Is that just me? So I'm pretty much done, but I'm going through little sections to see parts of my hair where I, I want it curled a little bit more. So it seems like I did a really good job. I'm just going in, touching up, and next I'm gonna go in with some holding spray, lock in these curls, spraying some, some of my hair and face. <laughs> Okay, child, so this is just 
maybe about 20 minutes I put on a shirt and ooh, put on a little makeup and as you can see it looks like a rat's nest especially in the back so I'm just trying to salvage <laughs> the little curls that I just did and then I made another mistake I went in with the rat tail comb and just combed everything that I just did out womp 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 Y'all, I'm so sad. I'm pretty much back at square one at this point. Not square one one, but probably square negative one. <laughs> but hey, I'm no professional. I'm not going to be too hard on myself. We're going to get this together, okay? So, stay with me. Let's, let's try to salvage what we have. Let's start over a little bit. So, did it turn out how I wanted it? No. But am I going to freak out? No. We're just gonna start. We're gonna rewind. Oof. And we're gonna try this again, okay? We have nothing but time. So I'm going in with my flat iron yet again. And I'm just going, I'm not being as precise as I was before, child. <laughs> I'm going in and adding my curls back in with my flat iron. I'm doing the best I can, re-adding these curls back in. We're all at home. We have nothing but time. So this is a perfect time to practice on things that we're not good at. And obviously I'm not good at straightening my hair or flat ironing. So I need to do more practicing on this. So this is good. This is a good thing for me. Now one thing I do know is that the hair looks better when you flat iron it or curl it away from the face. So that's what I'm trying to do. But it's really hard for me to curl the back. Um, I'm thinking I'm doing a good job as I'm doing it, but um, I'm probably not doing as good of a job as I think I am, as you'll see soon. And now that I think back, I do know that I have a curling wand that is um, way easier for me to maneuver. But I've moved and I left that curling wand back at my home state so I don't have it. So I have to make do with this flat iron. And we gonna make it do. We gonna make it do what it do. Right baby? Y'all hear my baby? So again, I'm taking pieces here and there that I see that are not curled to my liking and curling them. I went in with the pick again. I don't know why I did that. I didn't learn my lesson the first time. I should just finger comb my hair after I curl it, but I learn my lesson maybe the next time I do this, right? All right, so it looks a little bit better, right? I think so, well, at least in the front, cause the back, chow, the back is terrible, but that's okay. We're learning. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add my edge control. I'll leave the, the name in the description box below of the edge control, I really love the edge control. I got it from a local beautician in Dallas, Texas. And we are done, y'all. I'm going to call this style a business in the front and a party in the back. Okay? Because that's what we got. We got two different hairstyles. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a magical day. Bye.